Black Caucus. Joining me now is Spencer Overton, president of the Joint Center for Political and Economic Studies. Spencer, when I looked at your report, it is almost unthinkable that in 2018 that we have such little people of color in powerful staff positions in the Congress, including among top Democratic Congress people. Uh, th that's right, uh, Reverend Sharpton. Even though our nation is increasingly uh, people of color, the top staff is, is overwhelmingly white. We found that Americans are more likely to elect a person of color to the U.S. House of Representatives than the actual members of the House are to hire top staff of color. Wow. You know, you know it's, just, it's just amazing. And as you mentioned, the problem is not a Republican or a Democratic one. We found that with you, when you look at white White Democrats, uh, even though they represent districts that are on average 37 percent people of color, less than 8 percent of their top staff is people of color. And we also found that Republicans, there are more white Republicans that have chiefs of staff of color than white Democrats. Now, when you look at this, and so people, our viewers understand, staff, senior staff members are right. the ones that decide with the uh, congressional member, the priorities, how we handle things, what's important, how we right. handle our uh, staff complaints, constituent services. Right. So it's not just a question of, uh, you know, head counting of how many blacks, how many Latinos, how many Asians, how many whites. It's also right. what they bring in terms of their worldview and life experience to the office. And when right. you have an office that is not diversified, it affects the work that the office sees and does and gives priority to. That's absolutely right. So uh, everybody has to remember that each member of Congress has uh, about three top staff, a chief of staff, uh, a communications director. Jordan did not have one person of color in any of these top three positions. Indeed, we found that there when were When you say overwhelming majority, you mean Democrat and Republican? Democrat and Republican. We found that three quarters of members, wow. uh, 313, had no person of color in any of these top three positions. And, and of those, uh, about, about a quarter... that range from 33 percent people of color all the way up to 93 percent people of color and and these folks do not have people of color in any of the top three positions and as you mentioned these are important positions right they oversee a four trillion dollar federal budget they oversee the, the president and the executive branch and three million federal employees so these people have enormous power in terms of shaping the future of our country so when we are dealing with even those that get the overwhelming support of black voters, and I'm talking about right. Democrats, right. in districts that are 37 percent or higher uh, black, Latino or Asian, right. yet they will not uh, make sure that their offices are diversified. That is the ultimate example of taking us for granted. It it is a real problem because if you look at just white Democrats, for example, we said that uh, less than 8% of their top staff are people of color. Less than 2% of their top staff are black, even though African Americans vote overwhelmingly. About 21% across the country of all Democratic uh, registered voters are, are black. And so there is a mismatch here in terms of representation uh, and, and reflecting the, the, the views of the people. Well, I think this is important information that we should share with the public. People ought to know that uh, everything you see is not what you're getting. You see the member. We need to see those that are the team behind the members. Do they reflect the constituents they represent? Great service to us by you presenting this report. Thank you. So